Jeremy Cordeaux made the comments on his 5AA breakfast show on Saturday morning. But I would, I just ask myself why the Prime Minister doesn't call it out for what it is. A silly little girl who got drunk. He questioned why the former Liberal staffer was allowed into Parliament House in Canberra, where she was allegedly raped in 2019. She should have her bottom smacked. Why in God's name would she go out and get herself in that kind of compromising situation? This morning, 5AA sacked the 75-year-old. The decision read on air by the husband of former federal MP, Kate Ellis. The views expressed by Mr Cordo do not reflect those held by 5AA and Nova Entertainment and we unequivocally withdraw them. Mr Cordo's employment has been terminated. David Pemberthy also apologised on behalf of the station. In a tweet, Ms Higgins said she's grateful the radio station is standing up for victims of sexual assault, and that instead of seeking to modify the behaviour of victims, it would be better to address how to deter perpetrators of sexual crimes. Mr Cordo is no stranger to controversy. He lost his licence for drink driving in 2016 and was charged with the same offence last year. In 2000, the Australian Broadcasting Authority found he'd breached industry codes during an investigation into cash for comments. He's standing by what he said on the weekend. Men, I won't say are predators, but they can be predators. And I, my advice to you is don't trust them. Mr Cordeaux says the sacking was a surprise. Olivia Mason, ABC News, Adelaide.